However, I was missing one piece of the puzzle to really get to the point where I could go from making a living to making 100,000 a year to making even up to seven or eight figures. And it might seem obvious to you guys because you're all familiar with internet marketing, but back then, having an email list as part of your blog wasn't common. Most bloggers back then used what's called RSS feeds. They didn't build email lists. They relied on lots of traffic, lots of advertising. I'm not a big fan of that model. Very hard to build a, a blog today where you go for lots of traffic and make money with advertising. Really important that you add an email list to the strategy. So uh, at, the, at this time, I was listening to people like um, John Rees, Mike Fulsame, Rich Sheffron, Eben Pagan, I even really old school guys like Terry Dean and Corey Rudel, Jay Abraham, um, lots of these direct response marketers, copywriters, and everyone said, you have to build a list. So I finally, after a year and a half of blogging, added an email list, put a little box on my blog that said, sign up to my blog, I'll send you traffic tips on how to grow your blog audience, and started to build my first list. That literally doubled my business. It was the key for me to really take the next step. So, the one other thing I learned from these guys was you need to have a product of your own, which is something I didn't have. So I learned about this magical formula, which I'll go into in some depth coming up, but basically it was the power of a blog to build an audience, using an email list to then connect directly to those people, and then selling your own products and services. So I do dove in and, and took this serious and launched my, my first program called Blog Mastermind. I had this crazy uh, three, three months in 2007 where I launched this course doing a Jeff Walker style product launch formula, if you're not familiar with Jeff Walker. I also bought my first house because I just sold my proofreading company. I bought a car. All happened in three months. It was amazing, very stressful, but a lot of fun. And this went really well. I had 400 people sign up into my first program, and that's the first time I ever made six figures from blogging. So having an email list of my own product made a big difference. And from there, I just started to fill out my funnel. So I've gone on, I won't go into detail, but I went and created products on traffic, uh, mindset and productivity, buying and selling blogs and websites, because I did some of that. I have an interviews club that I actually charge money for. It's like a podcast that people pay for. I also have a community where I interact with people basically every day who are going through the same process, growing their blogs, growing their businesses. So that's my funnel at the moment, I, and these products are all linked together through emails, and that's basically what I do. I write my blog, I teach, I talk about stories, and I, I sell my, my digital products and, and services. I also have some plugins and things that I've just started selling as well. And as I said before, I've been able to travel around the world uh, thanks to this business too. So in 2008, I did a eight-month trip around the entire planet, blogging the whole way, sitting in cafes, and uh, uh, this sounds a little bit like I'm bragging, but it blew my mind at the time. I actually made more money while I was traveling than I spent on the trip. And as most people know, in sort of everyday life, you usually save up for years for your holiday and then come back and go back to work broke, basically. So you know, I was amazed that you, you can have an internet business and make more money because you can run it while you're traveling. So what I'd like to do now, oops, just summarize this. This is my, my blogging. Uh, business summary. So, as I said, I've sold over a million dollars worth of digital products and services uh, over the time I've been blogging. It taps into something I really care about, and it's the best lifestyle business. So, it does allow you to travel, it does allow you to run your business from wherever you are. And if you have the list and you have the blog as the way to build your list, that's really all you need. You just need that engaged audience who want what you offer. So what I'd like to do now is show you some other bloggers who are using this same model and doing it in different markets, just to show you that this can work in some places outside of obviously just teaching how to make money as well. These are people who I've actually worked with, and some of them have taken my program. So this is Tracy Raftel. She helps women get clear skin. She's actually a Canadian. She's from Alberta. And she, pretty basic, helps mostly adult women Cure acne. That's her, her main niche. And she's built an audience, she has an email list, she has a blog, and she has a product suite that she sells in a funnel as well. So she has an email series that promotes these products and services like a community, some, some online courses, some audio, some video, 
all of that, all around how to get clear skin. So that's the market she meets a needed. This is uh, the, the book designer by Joel Friedlander. Now Joel's story is really, I find, inspiring because he had a career in independent book publishing, but none of it was online. Then he sort of took a mini retirement, and then at the age of 63, he decided to get back into online business and taking his independent book publishing skills online. So he actually went through my course, his wife pushed him into it, and he built this blog, he created an email list. You can see on the right he's got this opt-in form for a free uh, ebook you can get. So that's how he builds his list. People join that list and he actually has a few different things. He sells other people's products as an affiliate, he's a speaker, and he also sells book templates. So as you can imagine, his audience is full of people who are all trying to become independent book publishers and he sells templates they can use to, to write their book. It's an obvious product to match his audience. This is Michelle Dale. She is a virtual assistant. She uh, hasn't been home in 10 years. She's been traveling all around Europe with her family. But when she initially left, she left the UK, landed in Egypt, got involved in some sort of property scam, lost all her money, and then decided to recover by being a virtual assistant to people back in the UK while she was living in Egypt. She met her husband, the business grew, she had some children, and then she actually started blogging and started teaching about how to uh, become a virtual assistant as well. And today she's making about, I think, 20,000 a month from her virtual assistant company and 20,000 a month from her teaching how to do virtual assistant business as well. Tracy is a full-time income earner back with the Acne, and Joel also is doing about, last time I spoke, about 30 to 40,000 a month from his various income streams. Now this is an example that I actually thought would fail. This is from Lance Nelson. Lance was working in finance in London and he would go for his regular winter holiday to a ski resort called Bansko in Bulgaria. No, I haven't heard of this before either, uh, but he loved it. He loved it so much that he wanted to find a way to quit his job so he could spend most of his life at the ski resort in that town. So he started blogging about it. Now, I'll be honest, I said to him, that's possibly a little too specific <laughs> to ever make money from it. But he persevered. He just, like, I would have said, do all of skiing or, all, uh, or a collection of resorts, but he went for one resort in Bulgaria. It took him a while, it took him about two years, but once he built up a following, he now makes 60,000 euros a year from selling things like ski packages. He's also got some deals with some of the suppliers in the, the village that offer things obviously like accommodation, your skiing equipment. So he makes affiliate commissions by putting people through to that. So he made it work, which you know, I was pretty impressed by. And lastly, this is Mitch Wilson. Now Mitch went through Blog Mastermind, my course, in 2007, and he was my, my golden student. He attended all the coaching calls, he was constantly working. His subject was college football. They called him Miami Mitch back then. And he expanded his blog to cover all sports. He specializes in picking winners. It's sort of like a gambling with sports uh, website. And he's actually doing several million dollars a year now with this blog business, which really blows my mind because he's still like, oh, he's not a one-man show. He's got a team of writers, but he's still 100% owner of this blog business. It's because he has a fairly large audience, he has a membership site, he gets deals with advertising companies, and I'm very jealous because he gets to go to events where he hangs out with people like Roger Federer and Novak Djokovic, and I'm a big tennis fan, so very, very jealous. Okay, now what I'd like to do is switch into teaching mode. Before I do that, any questions on what I've gone so far? Because you guys, you know, you're welcome to interrupt me at any point. Anything you didn't understand about that? Yep. The ones I sell? Yeah, yeah I've, I've basically recreated most of my content in the last sort of year and a half. So, yeah, very much up to date. I mean, you're obviously getting, I'm about to go through some steps. There's only so much I can cover here. And, and they're very specific. So you need to pick what you want to do. You know, do you need traffic? Do you need to be more productive? You have to decide. So if there's no more other questions, I'll keep going. With, nope, go ahead. 